Yo, what up, your boy G Nick? One oh, root canals are interesting here. Coming back at you with part 35 of our Yakuza 5 playthrough. Uh, last time we discovered we're going to break out of prison again, and now we're Majima's dead, and now we're playing some or Himura's uh, imagination of memories, where we're a cop who lost horribly at Nine Ball Pool. And uh, now we're going to track some Chinese Mafia people in this imagination land. <clears throat> we also dodged a car that was trying to kill us. Yep, they were well aware they were being of being tailed. So what'd you do? You really need to ask? I fought them to protect the town. Ha! Ah, what a load. But fine, let's do this. the same move as Kiryu. Ooh, did I kick him in the nuts? And so I once again save the time from peril. Applause, please. Mighty heroic of you. But come on, all this talk of being a former detective? It's all a pack of lies, right? I would never. How can you accuse me of such a thing? <laughs> Whatever, man. What was that? Nothing. This was fun. I think that's enough, though. Alrighty. Making our break. That old man's gonna be up. Oh. Thanks for everything. Let's get moving. Just like you said. Be real lonely without those two. Yeah. Assuming, of course, that the inmates who transferred in today don't get in their way. 
Eh. Fools can try if they want. But our boys will be fine. Balls can't contain that kind of willpower. Guard straight ahead. The shit? Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. Slit his throat. Damn. Hanuki, what happened to him? Get out of here, Sajima! Run! Ozaka Han. I'm sorry. I did all I could to stop them. You have to run. You have to escape! Ozaka Han. Ozaka Han. Ozaka Han. Go in somewhere, Sajima! How could you? If I let you walk now, who would play with all the little friends I pulled together? That was a switchblade. They've just been dying to meet you. We gotta fight for our right. Hi, Abachan. Tell me something. You think Kosaka Han would want us letting this trash live? Of course he would. No doubt in my mind. With you there. You're <laughs> Listen good. I ain't gonna kill you. But you know, some shit in life hurts worse than death. And you're about to find out what. Every day, till I finally croak. You're gonna wish I'd ended you here. Yeah, that sounds about right. I have a few ointments. Hopefully it's enough. There's one there. Everybody just keeps getting out of the way.
Uh oh. Yeah, that's that sounds like I'm that strong. You know how strong you gotta be? Alright. Zen Bon Sucker. Sagius. Get out of here. I was like, Where, where's this last homie? Gotta hurry to the southwest gate, Baba Chan. There's gonna be more. The exit's right over there. Better make a run for it before someone comes after me. Where'd they even come from? There wasn't anybody there. Go, homies. So sick. tough motherfucker when he hits you with his own head. There's that motherfucker. Say, Looks like you're even tougher than I thought. But all that hard work's about to come to nothing! My new friends will be showing up any minute now! You can try to break out, but you'll never escape us! Now get ready to die, Zangiba! Get up, dude! You picked this fight!
What a move! Oh, we're doing it again. I don't know why my literal throw does more damage than my heat action. Couldn't handle him, Baba? Really? Don't get it. This many guys and we still won? I'm Tiger Sajima. That's right. That's broken. And there's no repair in that arm. <laughs> Deal with that how you want. Lob it off if you gotta. Whatever it takes to keep living. This is what happens when you go picking fights with the Yakuza. Should have been ready for this since day one. Please don't kill me. Wasn't planning on it. No breaking my promise with Kosakahan. You're good to go, Baba Chan. Yeah. I knew it. He's gonna have like a gun or something. I don't think you're getting off that easy. Predictable. Now dies, Ajima. Someone else got ya. Where'd he get a gun? Who knew they gave our guard such antique hunks of crap? Surprised they even landed the shot. Yamura out of nowhere. Yamura san. Hey, I was I was a homicide detective, remember? My tales of glory aren't as full as much bullshit as you all seem to think. Uh... By the way, Oshima-san is dealing with the deputy warden. It might be dicey. But at least you shouldn't get any trouble from him for a while you make your gateway. You serious? Dead serious. Uh -huh. Oshima, that rascally old geezer, you know how he'd hoard meds and pass them on the other inmates. Turns out that's a habit left over from his brief time as a doctor. Who the heck moves on from being a doctor ends up in prison? Boy, you never know. You can't know someone, eh? Whatever past you may have, I'm just relieved. That's right, you guys need to go. I'll call the authorities and play dumb while they arrive. Don't get caught if you can help it. What about you and Oshima-san? 
You know us, we're gonna be good boys and serve our prison sentences. They're not coming with us? If we don't stay, there won't be anyone to tell the others about your incredibly daring escape. Besides, I hate the cold. Normally, you couldn't pay me to go out in this. It's only worth it if I'm rescuing some friends. Himura-san. You guys need to take care, okay? It's dangerous out there. Real dangerous. They say a man-eating bear lumbers around these parts. It's supposed to be two meters tall. We fought a tiger before. We fought a literal tiger before. I believe it. I believe we're gonna fight a bear. Is it really time for your tall tales? Oh, but it's true. I swear on it. Ah, whatever. Get out of here, you two. We're gonna have to fight a bear. I owe you a debt. Sure. When I get out, you can buy me dinner. I'll treat you to the tastiest tripe barbecue you ever had. You'll be eating till you burst. <laughs> Why not short ribs? Why not uh, anything but tripe? See ya. Can I drive the snowmobile? We need to get through this storm as fast as possible. Hang on tight, Baba Chan. Can I drive it? Can I drive it? Yes! Let's go! Uh, yeah, we're good. Tackle, move character. Ah. Somebody hitting us? Damn, that idiot could hard. Couldn't fit this job. Come on, boys! We can't let them get away. See that tree. I turned. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't even seem possible. seeing right now. I just want you to know that. Kind of reminds me of the uh, original Modern Warfare 2. Think we got through the worst of it? Yeah. Ah. 
Mama. You all right? I can't hold on any longer. That was very dramatic. That was also very stupid. Our sled. Oh no! We're gonna be aside you, my sickle. an angry bear. Huh? Guess Himura wasn't lying about the si its size after all. I, I don't think I can pick it up. Giant bear! What hit me? you let's be honest that bear would do way more damage than it's doing right now let's be real here as real as we can be fist fighting a bear what am i gonna do what heat action am i gonna do where'd the bear go Damn it, Yakuza.
That that boy had me in his mouth. Hunter. We made it to the end of the chapter. Ah, uh, we'll keep it going. Chapter three. Frozen Roar. What voice am I going to give this dude that I'll surely forget? Taki Moss? What are you doing? Must have been good. <laughs> so, you saved my ass out there in the wilderness. <laughs> You should sit still. You still got bats frostbite. Moving around will damage the tissues surrounding the frozen parts. Just try to relax. You see another guy out there? I was traveling with a friend. He could still be out there. I gotta go find him. Didn't you hear what I said? Moving will kill you. I can't just sit here when my buddy could be in trouble. And I can't sit here and watch you leave. If you go up in the mountains untrained, you'll end up stranded. You think I need that on my conscience? I'll go find this friend of yours. You're willing to do that for a couple of guys you don't know? Once a bear gets a taste for human flesh, there'll be trouble. It did bite me. The beast might come down to the village for more of its new favorite food. Really? The bear attacked you. It was twice as big as normal, am I right? 
Yeah, thereabouts. You're saying it's some kind of man to make you work hard, make you think. Yeah. Don't know. What? It's just rumors from a long time ago. The point is, if I don't save your friend, he could get up as bear food. And then it's just another problem for me. Hang in there, Baba-chan. Take a stroll outside if you want. But if you insist on getting yourself killed, please do it where you won't be eaten by a bear. There's a change of clothes there. They're old rags of mine, but you're welcome to use them. I never thanked you for saving me. I'm Sajima, and I owe you my life. Thank you. <laughs> my name's Okura. <laughs> Goodbye. I can't just sit here. I can check the place out at least. You now have access to a hideout. Here you can save your game, move items to the item box, and view. But furthermore, your health will recover while at the hideout. Oh, there's the coat. Who would have thought there'd be a village this deep in the mountains? Damn. And it's morning already. How long was I out? What level am I? Level 11, okay. Got nine levels to go. I want to try that stew. Want to get a save in. Probably still have a bunch of ointments. Yep. Do we got around here? Uh, hey, just hold on there. You're the one who got hauled into the village this morning, right? I've got something to ask you. Who are you? I'm Nishina. I'm what you might call the leader of the hunters. So there's a hunting community here? Yeah, it's a dying way of life, but we're still here for now. Traditional hunters have called this village home ever since it was founded. Why was it you wanted to ask me? We're worried about another guy who is also a visitor at our town, much like yourself. We don't know what he's going to do next. What other visitor? Okudera, the man who brought you in. He's a newcomer? No, not a newcomer. He lived in this village a long time, actually. But he's still considered a visitor because he's not originally from here. In fact, I don't know where he came from. One of our hunters found him in the woods one day. He was lost, so the hunters brought him back to the village. And he just stayed. That was ten years ago. Ever since, he's only been trouble for us. Looks like there ain't no love lost between some and Okuda. So what's concerning you? I heard he went to the mountains this morning. Is it because a monster was sighted? Monster? Yamaoroshi. He's a giant man-eating bear, twice the size of a regular bear. Yeah. Sounds like the bear that attacked me. What? You were attacked by Yamaoroshi? I mean, I ain't sure or nothing, but it fits your description of the beast. Does Okura know about this? 
Yeah, of course. And that's why. Uh, no time to explain. I have to tell the others. Yeah. Something the matter? Yes, if you don't plan on dying today, go inside and lock up tight. Whatever you do, don't go chasing after Okudura, you understand? Okay. Must have been some trouble here. Something to do with Okudura, huh? Interesting. Either way, that's the end of part 35. If you like the video, please like the video. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. We successfully got out of prison. We fought a bunch of people. We made uh, Kagihara beg... Uh, Humoro shot him, said there was a bear. I knew we were going to fight a bear because we fought a tiger before. We fought the bear. We were saved. Uh, Okudura went up. He's apparently an outsider. He's looking for our friend Baba. And now everybody's afraid of this bear. So I'm going to assume we're going to fight the bear again. Either way, that's the end. See you in the next one.